What's up everyone, Darkblade here with an Uncharted 3 patch video. This is for the patch 1.11. This patch will be coming out later this month and the notes and details are already up so I'm here to give you my thoughts, feelings and give you the general gist of what's going to be happening with this patch. Now first of all you might be asking what happened to patch 1.10? Well Naughty Dog have kind of implemented this into patch 1.11 as 1.11 is a big patch. It's going to come with a lot of additional content, game modes and tweaks to the game. Anyway, getting into the meat of patch 1.11, the first big change that they're going to add to the game is they are making the return of the lab game mode. This is experimental game types that are in this mode. It returns from Uncharted 2 actually. It's not unique to Uncharted 3. The first game mode they're going to be adding is the T-Bow and Pistol A only maps. These matches will consist of only these two weapons. Naughty Dog have said that they will be switching around and changing the game modes that are available in the lab as well as the year progresses. I personally think the lab will be a good thing. It will add a little bit of variety to the game as playing the same old game types and matches over and over again can become a little bit stale. So adding the lab which seems to have a little bit of randomness about it is a good thing. It spices everything up a bit. Now the second big element they have implemented with this patch is Elimination Mode. This returns from Uncharted 2 and for some reason I never understood why it wasn't in Uncharted 3 on its release date. This mode personally is one of my favourite modes and I'm glad they've brought it back. It's basically team deathmatch with every player having one life each. Once you're dead you go into spectator mode. I find personally that Elimination Matches from Uncharted 2 were quite short. It's good to have this back, to have a short option. If you haven't got long to play, you can just jump into elimination game for a minute or two before you have to go off on your ways or do whatever. On a side note actually, the treasures that drop in Team Deathmatch will also drop in the elimination games, which is good news for anyone who's still collecting the treasures out there. So anyway, I'm glad that they're bringing back the elimination mode to the game. As I said, it is one of my favorite modes. And I'm looking forward to playing it some more. An old thing that they've also brought back in this patch from Uncharted 2 is the message of the day. This is the daily message that will pop up at the start of the game with news, tips and other useful information that Naughty Dog feel they need to tell you. No real big opinion on this as I normally follow Naughty Dog on their Twitter and their forums so I kind of know what's going on. <laughs> But for those out there who don't follow them in this fashion, it's a nice little way to keep up to date with the information that Naughty Dog are trying to give to its community. Now another big aspect they've added to the game is they've added a lot more customization settings to the custom matches, the custom game modes. They've now added a, an option saying advanced settings. And in this you can edit the respawn timer, the buddy spawning system, the health multiplier which is done by percentage, there's a sprint on and off, you can choose the weapon modes, you know, basically choosing your default weapons and that. You can turn off whether players can use metal kickbacks, you can toggle whether players can use boosters as well. They've even got an option where you can turn on and off the grenade throwback technique mechanic they got in the game. Personally I don't know why you would turn this off because I think it's quite a cool effect. But anyway, these are all nice additions to the custom game settings. You can pretty much create an old game of Uncharted 2's multiplayer with this, turning off all the things that are unique to Uncharted 3, which some players dislike. I personally like Uncharted 3's multiplayer mechanics, so I wouldn't turn a lot of these off, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, these can add for a lot of fun games and that, if you can get a group of players together, create a custom match, and you can create some wild games, put it that way. Another effect they've put into the game with this patch is that if you leave the game through rage quit, disconnect or turning off your PlayStation mid-game it will count as a loss and your kill death ratio will carry on into your stats. This is good for rage quitters and stuff like that but if you generally disconnect it's a little bit unfair but oh well. They've added in the team objective and plunder matches that your kill death ratio will no longer count towards your career stats, your overall career kills and deaths. 
It's not bad. I quite like that. <laughs> As in team objective matches, you are putting your life on the line a lot more than in team deathmatch. They fixed the technical hook with Game of the Year editions of Uncharted 3. Now DLC will work properly when added with these editions of the game. They've changed the Long Ranger medal. This can now be achieved at 3 kills at 50 meters instead of what it was, which was 3 kills at 70 meters, which was a lot more difficult to get. In Team Deathmatch as well, they've added the option when selecting the level to select airstrip and London Underground maps without the introduction sequences. I personally don't see why you would want to do this as these two maps offer something that you can't get in any of the other stationary maps because the scenes where they are moving is so unique and so different that I don't know why you would want to skip them. But oh well, each to their own as they say. <laughs> Now these are the key elements that come with patch 1.11. Naughty Dog have also announced that they will be resetting the cinema files again. So if you want to save any games that you got in your cinema files, upload them to YouTube or onto your PlayStation to save them as they will be lost once this patch comes out later on in the month. Naughty Dog incidentally have not released an actual proper release date for this patch yet. They're just preparing everyone for when it comes out. Anyway, full details in the description below. I've been Dartblade bringing you information and my thoughts on patch 1.11. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.